Hi everybody and welcome to today's vlog. I am back from Korea. I'm back into what I thought was going to be the UK misery, but the weather has been insane. It has been hot but not humid like Korea and just breezy and calm and nice. So it's actually been not too bad to be back. Although like for the first two days that I was back, I was definitely crying a lot. <laughs> And I feel like every time I leave my home country, it just feels like a part of me is left behind and I have to like tear it out of my heart and like leave it there. So it's been hard to leave everyone, my whole family and come back to England, but it is what it is. Tomorrow I am getting finally officially married. So, so far I've had like basically three weddings so far. So the first one was in Italy and that was immediate family only. The second one was in church in Korea and that was my mum's side of the family only. And then my reception was with my dad's side of the family. And then my third one wasn't really a wedding, but it was just like a full on packed day of like wedding studio shots which was like a gift that my sister and my brother-in-law got me. So it felt like a wedding even though it actually wasn't because it was just like a whole day of like being in wedding dresses. Finally, tomorrow is the official wedding day where we'll go to Islington Town Hall and actually sign off as being married. So I was like, why not vlog? Because so far I've vlogged, but I've kept it very much unlisted videos for my family to watch type of thing. Whereas today I was like, yeah, I've done all of my private family stuff, so I'm quite like happy and willing to be open and sharing my very casual day tomorrow. So as you all know, I have definitely not been doing anything pharmacy related for a while, but I definitely will get back into that once I start my new job in September, so bear with but I hope that you enjoy this little tiny snippet into my personal life. Also, I am really nervous about tomorrow. I bought a wedding dress for Italy and I had to buy it because I was away for two weeks and like renting it every day for two weeks was more expensive than just buying a dress. So I bought a dress which you can probably see just hung up there and tomorrow I'm just getting ready by myself. I'm doing my hair by myself and putting my veil in by myself then we're just getting an uber to the town hall so it's been really low-key but i'm really scared because so far my sister has been there to like do my hair in like a nice bun a nice little updo but i don't know what kind of approach i'm gonna go for tomorrow same with makeup she'd help me with my makeup but it's just gonna be me like dabbling a bit of makeup on my face so i'm kind of like what's it gonna look like i'm a bit scared i am so glad what at what we've done so far basically all of the money we've spent on anything wedding related has just gone to ourselves and family and as much as we would have loved to do something huge like I would have if I had the money like I would have loved to just do something massive and like invite anyone and everyone who had the time to come but life is not like that and I definitely do not have the funds to serve that so we've definitely kept it just to you know family so far but I've had no regrets like not a single penny spent has gone to waste again not like non-family would have gone to waste but I feel that you know we'd have to pay for a venue, flowers, catering and stuff and we haven't had to do that so it's been really really good so I'm all for selling family only, immediate family only weddings. Okay so giving you a quick tour this is the bathroom. I love this marble bathroom and the shower is huge. It would have been quite nice to have a bath but you know can't complain, can't complain and then there's a huge massive mirrors here which i'm really thinking will be good to get ready in tomorrow as my dress is going to be huge and this is the bedroom this is my wedding dress which i feel like definitely looks a lot better on it looks a bit dead right now and this is ed's suit that we have covered there and yeah there is a little bit of a kitchen which i'm going to show you ed's on the phone so bear with so there's like this little kitchen area here. The vlogging is Oh my god, don't, don't. <laughs> so yeah, that is it. So um, this is my little makeup station for tomorrow. As you can see, there's not that much there. Like some of the stuff there is Ed's. So it's gonna be a very casual look. I feel like my skin has also been very bad, like it's been breaking out. I don't know if you can see like all of these little spots 
here because for a month straight I had to be in masks when I was in Korea so it really hasn't helped my skin but yeah like I said no complaints I'm trying to stay calm we have got the most simple room in Islington. The reason that I chose Islington was because you could book it online. Quite a lot of the town halls, when I went on the website, you couldn't book online necessarily. You had to call or email and then wait for them to email back and blah, 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 and I couldn't be bothered with that. Whereas Islington, it was just like, you can book it and it was done. So that's why we've chosen that and we've chosen the cheapest room. So there won't be like any personal vows or anything. We have two of our really special friends, Nick and Angie, as our witnesses. And they have basically seen us from day one. Like they have seen myself and Ed get together and come along on this journey the whole entire time. So I'm really excited that they'll be our witnesses. Right now, I'm literally looking outside at the weather and it looks insane. So I feel like I'm gonna convince Ed to go out and I'll take you along with me. Just look at that sunshine that is below. It's just really nice weather right now. So nice for London. So we decided to go and get maybe some drinks at St. Is it St. Catherine's Docks? Yeah. Which is like a little marina thing. And have a wonder. Someone please tell me why all hotels have these disgusting carpets. Like, this is meant to be a really good hotel as well. I just don't really understand why can't they have like a nice even coloured one. I'll give you guys a nice view of the Shard, which is apparently the tallest building in London. Although I'm not sure that's still true. Is the Shard still the tallest building in London? Yeah. Yeah, it is now apparently. I am such a weather dependent person that I'm really glad that it's sunny. Oh, look how pretty, um, is that Tower Bridge? Oh, yeah, 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 Tower Bridge looks. Ta-da! I mean, it looks better in real life. And there's Tower of London, a little bit of a London tour. So this is St. Catherine's Docks. Um, it kind of reminds me of like exam time. I used to come here after my exams, um, which isn't great, but back over there in that like tower dome thing over there, yeah. there used to be a Starbucks. And after I finished my exams, I came here and celebrated. So it's given me flashbacks, but Today I'm hoping it takes on a different meaning. <laughs> this is the guy I'm marrying tomorrow. So you can't really see it, but mine is a pina colada and Ed got a Long Island iced tea. The beautiful Tower Bridge in all of its glory. I still miss Korea, but you know, this will suffice for now. Look at this gorgeous Thames water. It looks like you just want to jump and swim inside, right? So clean. <laughs> My lab coat look. I actually really like this. Like I genuinely bought it from a charity shop recently. And I was like, yeah, it looks really nice, casual. I can imagine it with like gold jewelry. And then of course, Mr. Husband had to say, you look like a freaking scientist. I look like I'm ready to like swab people for COVID, you know? We have just come to the restaurant and we're having a three course meal today. I also got a martini tonight and this is another Long Island iced tea. Hope you don't get drunk, you know. You're gonna change your mind tomorrow, right? That's why I'm drinking, to forget. <laughs> <laughs> so, there's like, I think a small rooftop bar in this building, which we've booked, and I've changed into this black little dress. And I'm gonna go have a drink and then get ready for tomorrow.